Network, fueled by Gatorade. I'm Amy Wells. Dan Helley is from NFL Network. Dan, you've been around the NFL for a while. You've had your ear to the ground. What are people saying about this team? Well, I think this is one of the most interesting divisions in football because right now you have the kings of the division, the Jacksonville Jaguars. You have the Houston Texans who are going to be a lot better getting J.J. Watt and Whitney Merciless and, of course, that fabulous rookie quarterback last year, Deshaun Watson, back. And then you have the Titans who are coming off a playoff season and it doesn't happen very often where you bring in an entire new coaching staff after uh, one of your best years in, in recent memory, but they've done that. I know the excitement level here is probably off the charts for Mike Vrabel. And you have a guy like Matt LaFleur, one of the brilliant young offensive minds in football who's gonna get the opportunity to call plays for the first time. I think a lot of people look at the Titans as being right on the edge of being a perennial contender if they can just get everybody to kind of step up to that next level. The Titans are doing a lot of work locking down some key players in this organization. Taylor Lewan getting a big contract extension. How valuable is securing that left tackle spot? Well, it's one of the three or four most important positions in football. And I think when you have a guy like Marcus, who can obviously move around, you got to protect that, that blind side for him. And w when you have a guy like Taylor and he doesn't have to focus on the contract situation anymore. I think it makes it easier for everybody and you show everybody else on the team this is how important he is to us. He's now the highest paid offensive lineman in football. Everybody else says, okay, th this team is willing to pay for production and obviously next offseason for Marcus is going to be a huge offseason for him. He could go from that rookie contract to being one of the highest paid quarterbacks in football. Delaney Walker is another guy who has been a staple on this Titans team. He's been doing this for what feels like a thousand years. Does, Delaney Walker has been around forever. How is it possible that he is able to keep playing at this level into his mid-30s? I don't know if it was because he was maybe used a little less during his first few years in San Francisco because Vernon Davis was there. But to me, he's a modern day miracle. He's not like a, a Gronk type of tight end who's, you know, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 6 6. Like De Delaney's like my height, basically. And he just continues to get it done. And he's a great, great mentor for a guy like Jonu Smith. I'm excited about what the tight ends bring to the table. The talk around Nashville is these Titans defensive backs. Why is that position something that's so valuable to a team in this day and age? Just talking to some guys around the team, there's three guys here that could probably start for any team in the NFL. And if you have LaShawn Sims that you throw in there as the fourth corner right now, you're really deep. And that's something they haven't had before. You have a name brand in Malcolm Butler and Logan Ryan. You have a Dory who's really come on. I think you're going to see him take a massive step in his second year. I'm excited about what the secondary brings to the table. How do, how do I forget to mention Kevin Byard? I mean, this guy, I mean, from year one to year two, he made unbelievable leaps and bounds. I expect to see more from him uh, in year three. For a new coaching staff, what are the reasonable expectations going into the preseason and some of those preseason games? What can they hope to accomplish? Well, I think you just want to get everybody on the same page before the regular season, right? I think that uh, the main thing everybody's going to be watching is the development of Marcus in Matt LaFleur's system. And if you watch the Rams last year, or the Falcons the year before that, or the Redskins with Kirk Cousins, the three last stops for Matt LaFleur, that's what you can expect to see. This is a very different offense than we saw last year. I think there's gonna be a learning curve for Marcus. He's unbelievably bright, but this is entirely different than he has seen in the last couple of years, at least on the NFL level. All right, well, we're looking forward to getting things started in Green Bay. Thank you, Amy. This is the Titans training camp report, fueled by Gatorade.